New tonight, National City will be the first city in the county to allow cannabis lounges. The city council giving it the green light after debating the idea for the past two years. Fox 5's Jeff McAdam joins us live from the marina to show us where they will open up. Jeff. Hey Kathleen, yeah, there's only one part of National City where they really let these be built and quite frankly, it's a little bit of an odd choice because there is not much around, but National City Mayor Alejandra Sotelo Solis says that's kind of the point. We want to start creating something around here. In the next 30 days, this industrial part of National City will welcome its first cannabis lounge. We're still developing that whole area. So this could really, uh, again, it, it's, it could become a destination. National but, City Mayor Alejandro Sotelo Solis says City Council plans to approve permits for as many as three lounges and three dispensaries to this small two block stretch of National City, just west of I-5. Let's just say it's kind of like a bar where if you wanted to do a tasting, whether it be a, a beer or a wine, uh, craft beer, uh, you choose your product, you'd be educated on you know, the alcohol content, um, where it was made, a little bit about it, the flavor, and then you go and in, we're able to enjoy. And by doing this, not only are we regulating what we want to see and how we see it, but it's also helping to regulate the black market. Some of the regulations include no alcohol or tobacco consumption at the lounges. Customers must be 21 or older. A security guard must be working during the hours of operation. Approval of permits is dependent upon an anti-drug driving plan and a reminder that lounges can sell food. In fact, Satola Solis hopes infused food may become a popular option. Not surprisingly, the idea has mixed reception from locals. I haven't heard that, but I think it'd be pretty cool. I'd probably go myself. I think it's crazy. There's a park right here. I've been at this park for years. My dad used to bring us when we were kids. Now I'm bringing my grandkids. And to have a place like that here, I don't think so. Adrian Mariquin and his friends all fish at that same park. He says he's surprised by the news of cannabis lounges, but he also wonders if they'll suffer the same fate as the local dispensaries. Yeah, there's like nothing down here anymore. Really? Yeah. Just the dispensaries or what? Yeah, just like dispensaries, there's like nothing left. And if you're somebody out there wondering, you know, why here, why now? Uh, Mayor Sotelo Solis says she's seen legislation up in Sacramento, seems to think that this is almost inevitable throughout the entire state of California. So why not get in front of this? Why not kind of control your own destiny with the regulations you put in place here locally? From National City, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. All right, it's a story to follow and see how it progresses. Thank you so much, our Jeff McAdam tonight.